After the initial mobile war on the Western Front, holding on to captured ground proved to be a challenging task. Frontlines combines conquest and rush in a symmetrical head-on engagement, where the contested frontline can move in both directions. During the first phase, each side fight over a chain of objectives. Only one of the objectives is active at once. Conquering an objective allows that faction to advance closer to the enemy base. Once a faction loses the flag objective closest to their base, they will have to defend the two telegraph posts inside the base. Artillery called in from the telegraphs can be used against the attackers. The phase ends when both telegraph posts have been destroyed or when the attackers have run out of reinforcements. A failed telegraph attack will revert to the initial flag objectives phase where the factions continue fighting for access to their bases. The game ends when one faction has destroyed both enemy telegraph posts or when the time runs out. What is up guys, it's GoGlover9 here, bringing you some Battlefield 1 Frontlines gameplay footage for the new DLC, They Shall Not Pass. Gandalf would have said it better, but hey, that's why I'm not an actor. Anyway, we got some good footage here for you. <laughs> good footage. Great, excellent footage. Holy cow, look at this. We're on rupture. We're on rupture. That's my going to be my favorite map. I mean, look at the poppies coming out. Look at the sunlight. The sunset, the lighting of the map. I mean, it's just, oh my god. It's beautiful. It's probably the most epic looking map. <laughs> In this whole entire game. I mean, oh my gosh. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. 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 All right. So aside from all that, so, okay. So Valentine's Day is over. All right. Okay. Let's let's get let's get back to it. We got some gameplay to analyze. We got some guns to reveal. There's a couple Easter egg type things that we need to go over from this footage. But first, let's talk about the new game mode, Frontlines. As you heard the lady talk about the nice British lady. Who I can't stand when she says, we are losing. Yeah, we know. Thanks. Mix of Conquest and Rush. I think it's got a little more operations involved into it. Either you're attacking or you're defending. You're going to be pushing up or you're going to be falling back. Depending on what flags you gain or lose. At that point, after the tug of war is completed, then you're talking about a rush type of gameplay. I think that's a much needed aspect for this franchise, for this game. It's just gotten stale, and I think it's a good ad. Next up, let's talk about this gun. And which gun? This gun! Look at this interesting still right here that nobody's really talking about. Look at what that guy's holding. See the bipod? Do you see the magazine? Guys, I think that's nothing else but the ribby rolls. And as you can see from the photo here, look at that magazine right there. That long extended mag. Given the fact that the ribby rolls is the only gun that's coming out that has a bipod, that's definitely the ribby rolls. And we know this because look at the three guys running in the trenches. Who, where are the three guys? They're right there now. Now look at this guy's hand. Fast fire rate. Now watch his hand. You see that metal part? That was the bipod. That was the same guy running out of the trenches with that gun. Therefore, it's the ribby rolls. Confirmed. Put a stamp on it. You guys saw the Char 2C rolling through the poppy field. That thing's a beast. And as you guys can see here, this gameplay here, this is obviously the RSC for the medic. The magazine down by the, the player's hand. 
nothing like any other medic gun that I've seen before. Um, so it's definitely the RSC. Next up, let's talk about some weapons. Some weapon assignments. This is a new feature that Battlefield's introducing to the mix about these new guns. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if these weapon assignments are going to be implemented throughout the DLC or if this was just for CTE community test environment players only. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. If and if so facto that it is for the assignments that are just going to be for the DLC, that's a great great thing. It's a great addition to the game. Rather than just giving everyone free access to all the guns, and rather than having players have to reach a certain rank to activate the guns, you actually have to earn the guns. I mean, as you guys can see too, it, it seems like it's pretty simplistic of assignments, like any anybody could really do it. If you're an above average player, you could do this pretty easily. But I'm, I'm pretty excited about that addition. But what I'm most excited about, as you guys know, because I've been doing a lot of sniping, is the French Labelle. I don't want to get out of the sniping mood because once I get out, I will lose it forever. So <laughs> when this thing comes out in March, I will be using the Labelle straight from after my quest for all these service stars for the, for the scout. So I'm excited about that. And after seeing some gameplay on it, it looks pretty freaking sweet. And pretty freaking good too. Another thing I'm excited about is the Cogwheel Club. I mean, granted, yeah, you got the trench flur. It looks looks nice, looks cool. Nail knife looks cool too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Cogwheel Club just looks awesome. Could you imagine bludgeoning someone with that thing? Or the, the animations that you could get with that thing? The little spike at the top? That looks <laughs> That looks so cool. Oh my gosh. Nail knife and trench flur, that's obviously just, you know, you're gonna stab somebody, you know, whatever. Get up behind them, stab them, whatever. They're done. But it'll be interesting to see what they're going to do with the Cogwheel Club. I don't know why they blurred all of the brake wood, brake wire, light vehicle things out. I can't imagine the, the knife or the flur is going to do anything against any of that, any of those elements. But I can't imagine the Cogwheel Club not being able to break wood. I mean, it just looks so beastly. But anyway... Guys, that's all I got for you today. Be posting up some more gameplay on Battlefield 1, uh, Quest for Service Star, Gewer Infantry M95 this time. So, if you guys like what you saw here, please, 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 give me a like. And don't forget to sub. Not substitute, sub. Give me a sub. Not Subway. Sub. Subscribe. If you do, you guys give me that motivation to keep going. I have more content ideas to come with some more sports, retro type gaming. Some how-to guides. Some be better guides. I already posted one that you guys can see it to the upper right. So, don't be afraid. I don't bite. You guys will enjoy what I have in store. So, do it up, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.